My name is Autumn Harry. I'm a member of the Pyramid Lake Paiute Tribe. I recently graduated with my master's degree um, from the University of Nevada, Reno in the geography program. I'm from Pyramid Lake. I'm both Paiute and Navajo and have spent my whole life at the terminal end of the Truckee River watershed. So the meaning of this mural is really focused on the protection of water. And I wanted the Truckee River watershed to be the main focal point of this piece. The University of Nevada, Reno is situated on Paiute and Washoe homelands, and it's right along the Truckee River watershed. I really wanted people to think about all of the indigenous peoples who are caretakers of this land, of this water, and I wanted each of the tribes uh, from the Great Basin to be represented on this wall and in this mural. The mural itself consists of four different panels. I wanted it to be based on your perspective of where you're standing because Lake Tahoe is over here to the Southwest and Pyramid Lake is over here to the Northeast. Um, I wanted the wall and the water to flow in that same direction. The first wall is really to kind of set the, the tone for the mural. And if you look at the first wall, you have the Numa, the Washu, the Nua, and the Nua um, all represented within that piece. It says honoring our future because I want our future to feel like they're represented here. So it focuses on the four tribes and actually has our own uh, indigenous names that we call ourselves within our own languages um, on that wall. And it also has the silhouettes of ancestors who are no longer physically here, but who have, who continue to be um, really strong figures within our history and within our communities. And they are all people that we continue to look up to. Um, and without those individuals, like we wouldn't be here today. And then here, the second wall, Kuyuipa wall, which is our name for the lake in Paiute. Um, and you can see Kuyuipa Paninata is here in the text, um, but this is the Pyramid Lake wall. I feel very deeply connected to this wall and to this artwork behind me. Uh, this is where I grew up. These are my homelands. This is where my people are from. And we have our elder, Katie Frazier, who is filleting the fish along the shoreline. And she is also an ancestor. Um, and she represents really strong Paiute women who have always been caretakers of the fish and the water. Um, and we're known as the Kuiwi Takata, which is the Kuiwi eaters. And so without those fish, like we wouldn't even have our identity. So our people are very connected to the Kuiwi and also the Lahan Cutthroat Trout, which are represented on this wall. And a big part of this too is there's no dams that exist within my artwork. And so we know that along the Truckee River watershed, there are multiple dams and barriers that prevent the fish from swimming upstream. Um, and so here, the fish and the, the trout and the kiwi are both spawning and they're getting ready to move upstream so that they can breed and continue to, I guess, repopulate uh, and reproduce. And I wanted that to be shown in this image because we need that reproduction in order to keep our fish populations alive. The third wall is meant to be like the shared protection between the Washoe and the Paiute people and is meant to have elements from each of the three tribes. So we have our traditional foods um, and you can see that there's hands that are kind of being engulfed in water and without that water flowing, um, we wouldn't have access to our traditional foods like our pine nuts. We wouldn't have our medicine like our sage, our rabbit brush. You can see that there's Washoe basket designs as well as the tule ducks. And so all of our people can connect to those things. Um, and it's kind of just a piece that's meant to bring all of us together. The fourth wall is up in Lake Tahoe. And that is the, the wall that is meant to bring representation to the Washoe people. And I am not Washoe, but as someone who is Paiute, I'm very thankful to our Washoe relatives who are upstream, who have been protecting their lake and their homelands and that water that flows downstream to us for thousands and thousands of years. Um, and you can see that the trout, because there are no barriers or dams in this artwork, they made it all the way up to Lake Tahoe, which historically they used to do prior to dams. I think this wall also represents like the future generations and also present day generations. And you have a little boy that's holding a water is life sign. And then you have the Washoe women 
who were standing along the shoreline. And those Washoe women, they actually, um, that comes from a reference photo in 2020 with the Palisades name change. And so there was a derogatory name that was on the land and the Washoe people made this name change happen. Um, and so the women all gathered up in the mountains and that's what that photo is from. And that relates back to my work as a master's student, which is focused on the reclamation of Paiute place names. So I wanted to make sure that the Washoe name for their lake is on the wall and also the Paiute name for our lake is here on the wall. I just really wanted our own native communities from the Great Basin to feel represented, to feel like they have a place here uh, because these are our homelands and I want them to feel at home at the university.